Welcome back. This video is just me testing more Nintendo 64 games on the 3DS with the emulator I discussed about two months ago. So, something I failed to mention before in the last video is that there are a few settings that you can use. One is um, save states where you can just save and then load back in where you want wherever you want in the game you know, you're playing so it's basically like a cheat save so that if you're afraid of dying too many times or like dying and running out of health you can just save and it'll you'll bring you back to where you were something else is frame skip I'm not exactly sure the purpose of it but I mean it's there if you want to use it I just want to mention that the reason you're not seeing my hands on the controls is because I'm using input redirection on my computer so that the quality will be cleaner and I won't have my f stupid hands in the way. So the first game we are going to be trying is Wave Race 64. You have to forgive me because I'm not very good at the game, but it ran okay. Like it's playable, but... I don't know, I just don't know if I'd recommend trying to play it, because you'd probably be able to play this on a much better piece of hardware, but if you're not, then, I mean, I guess it's okay. I found that this game ran anywhere from 10 to 15 frames a second during actual gameplay, but on, like, transition screens and pause screens, it was at 30 frames a second. So don't expect to get any high-quality frames per second, out of this but you can play it and also keep in mind that I'm on a new 3ds XL so I am basically using the highest quality hardware you can get for the 3ds so that so my test will probably be the best quality out of anything unless you're using a 2ds because I don't a 2ds XL because I don't know how those will fare Ugh, I'm done with this game. Let's move on to the next one. So the next game I decided to test is F-Zero X. And to my surprise, this game ran phenomenally. It had a few issues with models and stuff glitching what? around with some of the textures not appearing and stuff. But this game was very solid. It ran very well. It ran... On menu screens, it ran at about like 60 frames a second, which is what you'd expect since it's a menu screen. But during an actual game, it would run at like 30 to 40 frames a second, which is really great. So I would definitely recommend to play this game if you own it and want to play it on your 3DS. I got bored. Banjo Hazui. Banjo Kazooie. So like I've mentioned, we're playing Banjo-Kazooie now, and it looks like it's running fine, doesn't it? But before you know it, it crashed my 3DS. Just like some other games. So I'll just let my past self react to it so I don't have to react to it all over again. Dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. My 3DS crushed. Gosh dang it. Now I can't use my controller. I have to start input redirection all over again. Friggin' Banjo Kazooie. And my three DS crashed again. It did it again. Okay. So yeah, it worked until I got up to the title screen and tried to start the game. Don't try and play this game 
unless you have some type of like optimization tool and optimize it specifically for the 3ds but i'm not sure anybody has that right now so don't try this so the next game i decided to test was custom robo it's a japanese game i'm not sure if it ever got ported to the united states but i chose it because i thought it would be like chibi robo i was very mistaken and this game is fine i mean it runs well it runs at like 30 frames a second um in normal gameplay and 60 frames a second during menu screens i just got very bored during the game so i didn't really want to film that much of it oh well please don't hate me so the next game i decided to test was harvest moon 64 and let me just tell you how slow this game ran oh my lord the clip after this one is going to be sped up because oh my gosh it was so slow it ran at like 10 frames a second when which in a 3d game slow and it ran very very slow it's unbearable so i didn't get very far in it it was so awful do not play this game on a 3ds it's so bad uh Okay, that's basically all I have to say about it. It ran at about like 10 f frames a second. It would usually, it might have gone up to like 13 frames a second somewhere, but it was so slow. It was awful. I'm bored. Time for Zelda. Yep, the last game I'm testing is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This game is a lot of people favor people's favorite Zelda game, which is great because it's a great game. And as you'd expect, the menu screen and cutscenes ran really well. They ran at like 20 frames a second. Shut up. The actual gameplay ran like at about you. like 15 to 20 frames a second, but it was fine. It was a, it was playable. I did notice a few hiccups and a few glitches with some of the textures, but that was really it. I think this game is very playable, it just may run a little slow considering the frame rate. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, hopefully this video and my last video on this emulator will help you figure out what games you can play on this and what games you want to play out of the ones that are working. There are probably some compatibility lists somewhere, but... I don't know, I just kind of got bored and wanted to make this again. So, thanks for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.